This is Lesson 4.2b, Reciprocals. We're still talking about dividing fractions. Two numbers whose product is 1 are reciprocals. When we multiply them, they will equal 1. We have 1 6 as our fraction. Its reciprocal, its flipped upside down version of itself, is 6 over 1. When we multiply 1 times 6, it's 6 for the numerator, and 6 times 1 is 6 for the denominator, and 6, 6 is equal to 1, 1 whole. Because it's equal to 1, we know that the 6 over the 1 is the reciprocal of 1 6. The reciprocal of a fraction has its numerator and denominator switch places. When multiplied, the product is 1. Here we have 2 over 1. If we multiply it to 1 half, its flipped upside down version of itself, we'll have 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2. We have 2 halves, that's equal to 1 whole. Here we have 3 fourths. If we flip it upside down, we have 4 thirds, which is the reciprocal of 3 fourths. When we multiply them straight across, we get 12 twelfths. 12 twelfths is equal to 1 whole. We know that 4 thirds is the reciprocal of 3 fourths. Here we have 2 fifths. We flip it upside down to have 5 halves. We multiply straight across. We get 10 tenths, which is equal to 1 whole. We know the reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. So we can find the reciprocal of a whole number by first writing it as a fraction with a denominator of 1, then switching the numerator and denominator. If we need to find the reciprocal of 8, we write it as a fraction as 8 over 1. Then we switch the numerator and denominator, we get 1 eighth. So the reciprocal of 8 is 1 eighth. For the whole number 3, we write it as a fraction over a 1 for a denominator. We switch their places, and the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. 1 is its own reciprocal. If we write 1 as a fraction over 1 for a denominator, we'll have 1 over 1. That's equal to 1. It's its own reciprocal. So two numbers whose product is 1 are reciprocals. This means 0 doesn't have a reciprocal. If we write 0 over 1 for a denominator and switch it around, when we multiply 0 times 1, that's 0. And 1 times 0 is 0. Their product doesn't equal 1. So 0 doesn't have a reciprocal. We can convert a mixed number to a fraction greater than 1, then find its reciprocal. If we have 2 and 1 fourth, we've learned we can multiply the whole number to the denominator, then add the numerator. So we have 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and we write it over that denominator. So 2 and 1 fourth can be written as a fraction as 9 fourths. If we flip it around to 4 ninths, that will be the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 2 and 1 fourth is 4 ninths. Now, we're going to learn more about this in the upcoming video, 4.3. So this was just a little heads up. If a fraction's value is less than one whole, the value of its reciprocal will be greater than one whole. We have one fourth, that's less than one whole. We write its reciprocal, flip it around, we have four over one. Well, that's equal to four whole, and that is greater than one. So now we finished the second part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the third part, 4.2c. We're going to talk about actually using reciprocals to divide fractions. As always, have a wonderful day. Keep doing your best. Hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.